How's it going there, fellas? Shinobi now, aka the Great Fukaga here, bringing you some more Hearthstone ranked gameplay for you guys. And since last time, I've opened up my Whispers of the Old God packs and got a tiny bit more gold since then. Opened a few more packs, built a lot of cool decks. I'm finally excited to be recording some new videos for this featuring the Whispers of the Old Gods cards, and this is really, really cool. I'm really close to finishing this uh, custom rogue deck. And I'm still working on the others, even a Yogg Saron deck. Yeah, that one is actually really crazy. I'll be doing that later this week, so keep a lookout for that. But today we are doing Cthulhu Priest. So let's get right into it, shall we? Alright, so the center main focus of the deck is to heal up and gain some presence on the board while buffing Cthulhu and at the right time just unleash the giant the guy on the field. <laughs> And it's pretty cool that when you buff him, he like comes out and you get to monitor how strong your Cthulhu is and then he like interacts, so that's actually pretty cool. Alright, so hopefully we got some good games in. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Alright. Anduin versus Jaina! Ooh, Disciple of Cthulhu. That's actually a really good card. Alright, we got Twilight Elder and Hooded Acolyte. Very nice, very nice. Whenever a character is healed, give your Cthune 1 1. At the end of your turn, give your Cthune 1 1. And then deal 2 damage, give your Cthune 2 2. That's actually pretty cool. Now imagine if he had a bit more health, though. That'd be interesting. Alright. I have to do something about that guy. Oh, Brand Bronze here. Nice. Do this. Kaboom! 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 There we go. Oh God! One sec, guys. Sorry about that interruption, guys. Alright, so now let's throw out the Hooded Acolyte. Alright, at least we wasted his turn, like, um, keeping the Mana Worm to a minimum. Forcing him to use his mana on a Fire Blast instead of another spell. Alright, so that's one last attack. And now we're gonna kill that thing. Oh my god. Alright. Ooh, we can double buff that up. Then, yeah, we can't do that. Alright, so... There we go. We got two of them, so now every time it's healed, Cthulhu will get up 2-2. Two, two. That's pretty cool. Now he'll either force him to go face or force him to get rid of one of them. I'll take that. End of my turn. Heal. Combos. Combos, friends. Oh, yeah. Alright. So, Cthulhu's 9-9. Nine nine. Ah, oh, dang it. Master. 
I feast upon You have already lost. Alright. A little buffing to Cthune. Got that, so yeah. Alright, there's that. Now the better question is, how are you going to get over my uh, Acolyte? Or Darkmander, sorry. Well, there's, there's that way. Alright. Mm-hmm. Ooh, Cthune. that get a card nice I'll take that and the elder buffs up Cthune nice So we got the Flame Waker on the field, finally. Oh. Alright, alright. Alright, so now, Bran Bronzebeard. And now, Cthulhu will get 4-4. Four, four. There we go. Alright, so now we got that guy out of the way. Got a little buff action. So look at that, 16. Got a uh, Azure Drake. All right, all right. Gonna buff this guy up. Nice. Pamper Velcor. Basically, for those of you who don't know what this legend is, if you're on the Cthulhu deck, you want to build this guy eventually. Because if your Cthulhu has at least 10 attack, you summon another Emperor, which is another 4 6 taunt. So that's actually really, really cool. And think about it. Brand's on the field, so I'll get 2 taunts. Watch this. The Feast of Souls begins now! I think I surprised him. Brand OP in these kinds of old god decks if he stays on the field and you play him in the correct manner. Oh, don't flame strike. Don't flame strike. Ah, oh, come on. Don't do that. Well, at least I got a card out of it. Yeah, but the thing is, how are you going to kill Brand now? <laughs> oh, wrong move. Wrong move. Wrong move, my friend. Oh, now I'm going to plus. Card. It's two cards. Oh, and a Doom Calling. Nice. It's another card. And another one. Oh, wait. No, no, no. It's just one. Sorry. There we go. Alright. Ooh, a Fell Reaver. Ah, single targeting.
Let's play that. Mill Archmage. That. Ooh. Oops. One. Two. Yep. Three. Yep. Let's do that. And I got a Cthulhu. Nice. Let's see, how much is Cthulhu at? 1616, alright! Yeah, let's scare the pants off this guy. My dream. Oh, did I forget to mention Brand's on the field, so it's 32? <laughs> oh god, it's plus Brand OP. Alright, so that is a game I love to play. Let's go again. Hopefully we can get a, another win like that. That'd be really amazing. That Brand, oh my god, Brand and Cthulhu, way too strong. Way too strong! Sucks, but all right. Let's see. What do we want to get rid of? Let's get rid of that. There we go. Nice and heal, and that's not a uh, what is it? An avenge. So that's pretty cool. That may be an avenge. Oh God! I just gave him like one, two, three, four, five, six cards. Are you kidding me? That card is way too good. Like, are you serious, bro? Oh my god. Spirit, eh? Alright, that's fine. Alright. No, oh, come on, don't do that. I do that. There we go. None of your 
Wow! Only one. Oh man, we're getting molly whopped. That is golden. It's a golden redemption. I obey. You know. Yeah. You have bested. Dang, mysterious challenger. They even invented a card called uh, Eater of Secrets. It's a 4-drop 2-4 uh, creature in this uh, latest set that destroys all enemy secrets and you gain 1-1 one, one for each destroyed secret. So that's actually pretty cool. So, dang it! Uh, okay, at least we got 300 wins now. That, that is pretty cool. We're on the road to getting a third golden hero. Like, every single one of them golden. Very nice. Hopefully. Alright, so hopefully we get a couple more wins before we have to uh, end off the episode. Alright. Garrosh! Ooh, nice. You got Cthune right away. I'll keep Cthune in my hand, though. Let's get rid of that. Let's get something else. Nice! Perfect! Perfect, perfect. Casanova. Oh, nice! This is going... Oh, man, this game's going great right now. Hey, we just started. Oh, he's got the same card back. Uh, Yogg's Ron card back. Very nice. And the things I've seen that Yogg's Ron has been playing at random is so crazy. Those of you who don't know what Yogg's Ron does, it basically, the Every time you cast... For every spell you cast this game, he casts that many number of spells at random. Completely different ones. So that's actually pretty cool, so. Alright. This way. Right away. I'll save the disciple. Hey, my minions don't feel that I'm weak. Hello? Who are you talking about? Uh, unless you're talking to the enemy, then yes, that is completely true. <laughs> Alright, slant. Ooh, interesting. Oh, that was a mistake, my friend. See that. about to betray him. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Alright, so we got the Hooded Acolyte. Let's draw something. Ooh, nice, 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 nice. This way. Right away. Alright, we got a draw and a buff. Your deck betrays you. 
So that's actually pretty cool if uh, also combined with a brand. Not only does the Cthulhu like do double, but then if I'm ever really low, I can double heal myself by 20, which is really, really cool. Shield slam. Wow. A lot of gold. Alright. And let's play the taunt game. The Feast of Souls begins now! This is going to be risky, guys. Let the pain speak to me. There will be pain. And so much pain. Two turns, if he doesn't kill Bran, he's dead. Alright, now he's gonna crash. Yep, let's crash. No, Bran, no! How could you? How could you? You, sir, are mean. That is a Cthulhu counter. It's coming. Yeah, you're not getting Cthulhu. Oh god. 
Alright. The symphony of the town. Your neck betrays you. Alright, nice. Alright, let's just buff Cthulhu up to a certain number of points, and then after that, we'll just unleash his fury. Stand that attack. Stand that attack. Where's that? Aaron, get him, eh? So, let the pain speak to me. Ah, perfect. Now letting you draw. No. Uh, I think he's used both his shield slams, I think. So, wait, is his deck all golden? I haven't been paying attention, actually. But that's actually pretty cool. Alright, let's get a Baron Geddon. Wow, Golden Nazoth! Impressive, my friend. And he brought back Sylvanas. God dang it! Do you know the secret handshake? Give in to your fear. A kidding. Golden Nazoth, of all cards. I wish I could craft the whole golden deck. That'd be really cool. Malork? Alarok? Malkarok? Golden Malkarok, Golden Weapon, King's Defender, wow. This guy's deck is insane. Let the pain speak to me. I see 5, 9, uh, 5, 10, 14, 17, 23, 24, 27. Yep, let's play him. My dreaming begins. Your nightmare begins. Don't kill Sylvanas. Don't kill Sylvanas. Outsider! Alright, 5, 10, 14, 15, 21, 22. Yeah, it's still not enough. <laughs> I don't know why I'm calculating, but still. Ah, uh, GG. Oh, golden damn. Impressive, my friend. Very impressive. Yeah, at least we got the damage off. <laughs> that was GG. Alright, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to show me some love and hit that like button down below. Comment down below what you think of the the Cthulhu in general, because there are many different decks in which Cthulhu can be used, so actually comment what you think of Cthulhu Priest, like, have you ever faced it, have you built it yourself, and what are some of the craziest things that you've seen come out of it? Personally, I like the time when I used the Bran and the Cthulhu combo, <laughs> that was actually pretty cool to get it off. I was trying to do the exact same thing, but eh, I tried last game, that's fine. Like I said, all these decks are constantly like being fixed from time to time, so that's not going to be the final deck. There's always a need for improvement, and I'd really love that one day actually build a deck like that on um, Warrior deck. That was really badass. I need to save up more, um, what is it, save up more dust. 
as it is. So, right before we end off the video, let's buy a pack on screen, or on recording, and then circle back, then put down. Highly doubt that's gonna give us luck though, but still, let's see. Rare, rare. Two rares. Oh, blood to Ecker and Silphid Swarmer. Very nice. Oh god. Okay, good. I almost thought that was like. Whew. Alright, guys, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you, fellow Shinobi, next time. Peace out. Have a great day, guys.